Hey everybody, first let me start by saying thank you. Yeah, I just got back from the Civic Center and I'm completely overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and support. I've seen so many people from Trinity wearing their volunteer shirts down there and just being the hands, the feet, the voice of Christ, the people who are in need, stopping, praying with people, just encouraging people, sorting clothes, um, giving out food, medical attention, all of so many things that you are doing to help others. Thank you for being a community, loving on those in a time of need. Let me talk a minute about what's coming. We've heard um, the, the flooding in Houston and Orange and Beaumont. It's so extensive that we're beyond a week or two or a month. This, this is a year or longer in what is going to be happening in the recovery efforts going on. Right now, there are teams from all over the United States that are assembling and gathering, preparing to come to Southwest Louisiana, to, to East Texas, to Houston, to minister and help people in the mud out, the recovery, and um, the rebuilding of our communities. With almost 800 Southern Baptist churches flooded in Texas alone, the devastation is going to be widespread. And it's a great time for us at Trinity Baptist Church to reach out continually into our community and those around us to show that love of Christ. So volunteer teams are coming in. They're going to be here, housed at Trinity and, and Vinton and Sulphur, working in this area. And there's going to be great opportunities for you to serve. If you haven't already been trained in disaster relief, I encourage you, contact me. I can explain to you how you can watch some videos and go through that training. Uh, it's a simple process, but it, it's really important for your safety too. A lot of you have asked questions about giving and, and donating supplies. Thank you. For those of you that have gone to the Civic Center and dropped off hygiene um, items and things like that, thank you. The good news is that people from all over the country are responding too. And I just received an email from a um, Rotary through in group in Maryland who is sending an 18-wheeler loaded with hygiene supplies to this area. So we're going to need a lot of help sorting and packing and um, putting in Ziploc bags, things to hand out in the coming weeks and months to people in need. Uh, what you can do right now to give, we have set up an account here at Trinity Baptist Church and you can give directly into the account for Harvey or you can just come by the office, drop a check off that says for Harvey Flood Reef or, or place it in the offering on Sunday and that money will go 100% directly to helping in the flood relief. Things like buying um, bulk water that we can get uh, much cheaper that way and ship directly to Houston or, or to Beaumont or Orange to those people in need. Or maybe buying cases of the shockwave um, mold treatment that we go in and spray homes after recovery. We're going to use those funds to directly help people um, that are affected by the flooding. In volunteering, there's a form online at tbclc.org. You can simply go in, fill out this form, tell us when you're available and what you're interested in helping with. We're sorting through those. We'll be contacting you in the next couple of days and the weeks ahead. Um, there's lots of opportunities. Two feeding trailers are coming to the lake area from the Southern Baptist Convention to help start feeding thousands of people that are coming to our areas. Um, just pray for those um, in need, for, for those that are hurting. There's lots of senior adults, uh, elderly people that are at the Civic Center, um, at Burton Coliseum. I, you're seeing the video on TV of them pulling people cold and wet out of the water that, that have nothing but the clothes on their back that are wet and nasty. and um, They need people just to love on them. So pray for them, that God will comfort them, give them strength. Um, pray for those people in the recovery efforts, for the first responders, for the, the military, for um, the guys that are just getting in their boats and going out and rescuing people. And, and pray for um, our leaders and, and our government and those people who are making decisions that are affecting the lives of each and every one of the people um, in our community too. Thank you and God bless.